Dr. Sal here, and we're on day five of the 100 days of eight-man triple option football. And today we're going to talk about how to utilize heavy down in the eight-man triple option football offense. So what heavy is, is when you bring the guard over, you bring the guard over and put him next to the other guard on one side. So if you call heavy right, the left guard comes over and he'll line next to the right guard, three and a half feet away from him with his inside hand down. The end is right there, three and a half feet away from the other guard with his inside hand down. So you got three and a half foot split. You got the other end right there. The A back moves and he really ends up being in the C gap and you'll see why in just a little bit. So the heavy formation is when you bring the guard over and put the left guard next to the right guard and then the right end is next to the guard that just moved over and they're all three and a half foot splits inside hand down, narrow base, narrower than shoulder width. They want their tail above their head and their stance, helps them do all the biomechanics that you need to run this offense better when they're narrow. So here's how the down play works. The end and the guard, the heavy guard, the guard you just brought over, their role is down to veer. So they're going to block down. So right now the end is going to block down on, in this case it's a Ford technique. He's going to put his left knee in his crotch, left forearm through his stomach, and take four-inch northbound steps. Since there's nobody covering this guard, the guard is going to inside release and get in front of the mic. Puts his left knee in his crotch, left hand to the stomach and take four inch northbound steps. Now the right guard is going to kick out the first person outside the heavy end. So what's going to happen is he's going to open up at 90 degrees. He's going to make sure he gets his helmet to the left, puts his right forearm through him, traps him and drives him out of bounds. The backside guard and end are going to scoop. The guard is going to sprint his belly button through the hip of the heavy guard and the Left end is going to sprint his belly button through the hip of the center. That cancels the backside A gap and the playside A gap. The A back is going to be in the C gap, and you want to get him a little wider because he's going to step with his inside foot first. He's going to come tight off the guard or the end's block, and he is going to wall off the first inside linebacker, the inside backer closest to him, getting his left knee through the crotch, left hand to the stomach, toes north. Quarterback's going to reverse out flat. He's going to hand the ball to the B-back. The B-back takes a lateral step. He gets vertical and hugs the wall of the end's block and goes vertical off that block. The quarterback carries out the fake to hold the secondary player. So that's how you run heavy down, which is also known as belly G in eight-man football. And Coaches, if you're looking to run Army, Navy, and Air Force's offense for eight-man football, give me a call, 570-332-0265, 570-332-0265, and go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials. You can see all the success stories that have come out of the camps and the academies. I had a state champion just come out of Oklahoma a couple weeks ago in eight-man. I had a school in Washington go to the state, had an undefeated regular season, go to the state championship game a few years ago. I've had so many other stories. Uh, lat, well, I guess would be 2019, I had a school in Nebraska go undefeated in the regular season. Uh, there's so many stories. But if you want to win more games in 2021, give me a call, and I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk then.